Remember the traditional punishment where you crossed your hands across your chest, held alternate earlobes and sat down and got up as many times as the master demanded? This was a punishment that was in vogue from the days of the Gurukulam. But there was also a scientific rationale behind this punishment. As you sat down and got up several times, blood circulation was improved, stimulating better concentration and memory power. By crossing the hands across your chest and holding alternate lobes, there was fine coordination between the right and left sides of the brain. By pressurizing the points on the ear lobes, brain cells were stimulated, thus decreasing learning disabilities in weak students. <laughs>